Hello everyone, Panzer here with the, um, I almost said Dawn of War 2, no, Hearts of Iron 4, um, different numbered game title. Uh, we are trying to demand the Sudetenland, that might trigger World War 2. The, if, if it does, then we, we're kind of ready, I guess. Um, I should make another air wing, shouldn't I? Nope, we have 24 measurements here. We, that is not enough for another air wing. Um. I also have enough for some more Stukas, that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, if, if war breaks out, we are going to have to scramble to get things working. Um, what are we doing as far as production? I think our submarines are what we built. And, yes, yeah, so we have 30 submarines. That's pretty decent, I guess. Um, yeah, so we have a lot of submarines. And we have a war in China. Let's attack some Chinese people. Let's... No, this looks like a way to get cut off. Let's support this. Um, that does not look like a good idea either. Let's actually continue attacking here. This looks good. Then we can flank them. Flanking is good. You see, they already lost. So, yeah. Just keep on keeping on. How, how many days we have? I'm gonna let's be finished. Um, so yes, and now we're being attacked, as we can understand. Um, they kind of want their land back. Soviets think they can win this war for them. The Soviets are wrong. Um, oh, no, actually, that's a People's Republic. It's People Republics of China military force. They look the same. I mean, their flags look very similar, as you know, if, if you're semi-competent in history. Um, oh, we also, another thing I remembered, we have this, we have Suriname. This is our territory. Um, we might send a few divisions here, just not to, just to not lose it. Um, but yeah, we, that is another thing to keep in mind. So, we also own Suriname. Um, what else did the Dutch own that we now own? Um, we own this random island. So, I mean, we might want to uh, put put together a little Central American force. Um, Panama Canal, that's kind of cool. Um, maybe we could, or we have to take over the Panama Canal at some point. But for now, we're fighting in China. Because that's the way the war is cranking for us. Um, hmm. So yeah, we have China. Oh, now we're being attacked from this side. And yeah, I, I just say play defense. This province looks like a bad, um, a bad place to be defending. But oh, now we can actually let's let's support this attack. Historic day for Germany. Munich Agreement. We apparently so we we got the Sudetenland. We got it? We got, we, okay, no, let's not do that. What does this do? Um, hmm. Hungary. So we can take, do the fate of Czechoslovakia, or go towards the fate of Czechoslovakia. That would, um, you know what? Let's do first Vienna Award, because that is important. And we researched something here. We researched a support company. Um, this is boosted. It is December of 1937, so 1938 techs are pretty much good to go. So we're gonna go computing machine. We're gonna research stuff faster because that is a good idea. And we're losing here. Why are we losing here? Oh, because there's there's like a bajillion divisions. That's why. Um, why 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 are the Japanese commanding? Let's draw. What? No, no. Let's not attack them. Let's attack. Can you attack them across the river? Yes, you know you're in a bad situation when attacking across the river is a better alternative. But hey, we'll have a bridgehead across here and we can take this. We're, we, we, we probably don't want to go in these mountains. Let's just be, let's be completely honest here. That seems like a bad idea. We kind of want to stay on flat, flat-ish ground. Flat air ground, I guess. Just picking off divisions here and there, because that's one of the issues. This is this is hills, this is desert. 
Yeah, desert is fine. Mountains, uh, yeah. Mountains are tough. We, we can fight in the desert. We, we are Erwin Rommel's division. is being controlled by man sign currently because because of that, but yeah. So we ha we own Czechoslovakia now. Or we own the Sudetenland. We own this little um, right? Yeah, there we go. We own the Sudetenland. Which is just a weird shaped state because probably some game programmer didn't want to program like ooh Soviets are withdrawing troops, supposedly. I mean, I don't see any troops moving, but apparently the Soviets are withdrawing from the Jap Soviet-Japanese border. Um, good for them, I suppose. What are, what are we doing in... Oh, yeah, the Vienna Award, which will make Bulgaria happier, sadder. Hungary. It helps Hungary. I kind of want to take over Hungary, though. Eh... Or should we keep alliances? Uh, alliances aren't the worst idea. I don't know. Mm, I kind of just want to take over everything for myself, to be honest. But that is, um, it is what it is. Okay, what what are you doing? Why, why is? Come on. Win wars, fight good. Maybe we should have gone this way and try to cut them off. Whatever, we're, we're, we're focusing here. We're, we're going to win the easy fights. Look at that season. Some very, very experienced troops right here. Good for good for whenever more um, pressing fights come, come, to, come to the surface. Okay. So, that is that. Um, they are still training. We have one, two, three, two, two. Okay. Just counting units. So. Wait, what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's train some more SS. We we need we need up to twelve SS. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's that's one. Let's set the location to Brandenburg. Join that. Join, join the yellow army. Join the yellow army. Once you once you've been deployed, yeah. Because I was thinking, yeah, like we want this to have six s or twelve SS divisions and uh, twelve tanks, and currently it only has six SS divisions. So might as well get them training now, so they can build up their experience. And as soon as we're done researching the uh, medium tanks, the Panzer Kampfwagen three. We'll be able to make medium tank divisions. So, yeah. That's fun. That's good. And we took over this province. Awesome. So, yeah, we have a lot of our civilian factories are doing civilian factory things. Um, let's attack him. This... Oh, okay, so we are going to win. I was about to say, that was red for a second. That makes no sense. But it is what it is. So, we're just, we're just fighting our wars. Mm hmm So yeah, Japan, come on, you gotta make progress. You gotta make progress, Japan. Yeah, you see, I mean, they're barely making anything. They're losing so many men, though. Does it show, like, how many casualties we have? Like, so I'm just gonna pay attention. Like, does it show, like, casualties we have from our volunteer forces? 90... Okay, this is just ridiculous, the number of days this is going to take. I, I mean, I suppose there's not much we can do about it, but but why does it take that long? So, ooh, I actually thought of one thing we can do. Let's make the cavalry... Let's make the cavalry very low reinforcement priority. So, that that is that is a, an idea I'm having. Just maybe that will slow down how often they're produced, because we always want them to be produced... But we don't want that to be like a strain on our main economy. You know what I mean? Like that doesn't need to be high priority. At least not yet. Because honestly, I mean, we're not occupying any territory yet. And it's only really going to come in handy once World War II proper breaks out. And we have to invade France and the UK and the Soviets and go to America. And hopefully we can keep it a bunch of smaller wars. If you keep it a bunch of smaller wars, it works better than if you make it one major war. 
just the way it works out because it's all and it all has to do with the um, whole situation of okay so we're just gonna chill out here for a second they are move, really moving some troops around here Jesus China what are you doing so let's actually go back across the river um, I'm gonna check on things back home so first the inner ward naval bomber so you're still doing okay Poland first, yes, that's good. Poland first leads to the Baltic Alliance. They are on the right path. Italy, uh, Italian highways, I get, okay, sure. Italy, I want you to have, um, what, what, which one do I want? Italy first. I want you to do Italy first. That's what I want you to do. I want you to make your own faction, so if I have to invade you, I do. If not, I might just, you know, I'll be friends with you, I guess. But I really do want to invade Italy as Germany. I could just do it. That, 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 that could be an option, but like I said, I want to take as much territory peacefully while, you know, getting up. Like, we almost have 100 army experience, and we haven't, we've only been in one real war. Like, that's awesome. That is really good. So, that is, um, that is exactly what we want. Okay, so we're moving here. Um... What on earth are there? These troop movements are just... I don't know what's going on. Okay. So are we, we're, we're defending? Yeah, just keep defending, I guess. Um, oh, and we can uh, modify our government. Awesome. Uh, naval stuff, air stuff. I kind of do want... What do we need? Oh, we need uh, air innovation, all-weather expert... Air experience, air support. Herman Gurry might not be the worst idea. Um, what do we have? Limited exports. We can't do closed economy. We're in a war economy, which is about as good as it gets. Um, actually, what does this do? Oh, this decreases recruitable population. Um, we could. No, we're good with this. We're good with the limited conscription right now. Um, we could switch. No, let, let's let's do army stuff. So, um, I kind of want airborne assault because of because of our par how we're going to be using paratroopers. But for now, let's use uh, Erwin Rommel since we have armor divisions in the field. So Erwin's going to be like getting phone calls back back from home, like, uh, uh, uh commander, uh, how, how how do we fight tanks good? And he'll be like, say something in German, and then they'll fight tanks good. Apparently that's how that kind of thing works. Even though, you know, he's going to be in the field. Because not having Urban Rommel in the field is stupid. We need him in the field. So, what? This looks like this guy's shooting him in the dick. Like, just why? That That's just ridiculous. Anyway. So, how's training coming? These people are almost done. Um, how's research coming? Just slowly but surely. Yeah, things are moving a lot slower since we are actually fighting. And the fighting is taking a long time since we're in just a bad part, just a bad part of the world. Just mountains and desert and just terrible terrain, which is why Japan tends to have trouble here. Um, why China has trouble too. I mean, this is just not the most, um, not the best area of the world to be, um, to be fighting in. But... We we get we get our, we get army experience from fighting, so might as well, might as well. So, yep. So, oh my God, just the number of days this will take. What about this? Can, what what will this be like? That is that is almost asking to get cut off. However, if we can cut them off, that'd be great. Because this is. This is the tough part. The tough part is this is mountains. However, um, yeah, let's 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 not do that. Okay. Um, okay, these six guys are leaving. Once they leave, we'll try and attack this province again. But yeah, because this is all hilly terrain and mountains and everything, not the best. Um, not the best as far as uh, as far as Panzer warfare goes. So that that is unfortunate. However, 
we're trying to get our tanks and everyone leveled up because that is the backbone of our army, the whole Blitzkrieg principle of having the tanks go in and taking the key points, surrounding people, cutting them off, infantry support. You know how it works. You're all military buffs if you're fans of this game. Damn it, Japan! Why do you have to do that? Okay, so we're, we're on defense. Let's let's see what's going on in what's going on in the Vaterland. So yeah, we're in the winter of 1938. Awesome. Um, they probably have they probably have a pretty good planning bonus. So that's that's something. Um, oh, it's, it's rain. There's apparently a rainstorm over here. That's something. Uh, hmm, what else? So we have our five divisions here ready to invade Australia if the need arises. We have these guys ready to secure Borneo if the need arises. Um, what else? Maginot people. Um, hmm. no, actually, I'm going to draw fr another front line with you. And I'm going to take about... I'm going to take, take some of these less experienced guys. So I'm going to take like three, four, five put these five of these less experienced guys on this on this line and yeah that'll cover the Luxembourg Luxembourg um, province so just just to make sure we have this whole area covered um, hmm yep and maybe maybe once we annex all of um, Czechoslovakia we are going to I mean just look at these states just look stupid um, we might try and take over Hungary <laughs> I know they're. I know they really like us. I know they're our friend, but they do have territory. I want. They have lots of territory. I want. Although this uh, Vienna award, apparently, what do we do? We do we divvy up Romania? What does this do? Um. People suffered another great war, slaughter, Uh huh. Oh, we could give them territory from Czechoslovakia. Um. Eh. Eh, oh, I, do we give them Southern Slovakia or something like that? I don't know. I don't know what a lot of these things do. I just know they do stuff and progresses towards war and taking territory peacefully. So, that is all I have to say about that. So, we're being attacked. That's more than okay with me. These guys are just leveling up like crazy. But yeah attacked uh, they can't they can't stop the panzers which is something we kind of knew um, okay let's oh much better let's try to attack take this province this useless province has caused us so much grief we, we want it and once we take it it'll be a celebration so so yes oh oh someone's retreating we'll see ya have fun Oh uh, yes. Oh, and there's our tank in behind the icons. You can kind of see him. Oh, two of them are retreating. Almost, uh, almost done. What are they doing? Evade. Um. Hmm. I don't know what these tactics mean, but what I do know is we have finally conquered this goddamn province. It's about damn time. So let's um assist with this. Yep, let's let's help with this. Let's wrap up this province and keep on keeping on. Have the UT? Nope, they're getting pushed back. God damn it, Japan! What is wrong with you? Oh my god! And um, as much as I would love to continue, that is the end of the episode. So um, we're gonna pause real quick. Um, Japan is going for an extra research slot. Aviation cult, so air type stuff. Poland is doing Poland first, which is on the path to their own faction. Italian highways, more infrastructure, nothing we can enable, armor focus. The shadow scheme. What is the shadow scheme? What does this do? Oh, wartime industry. Okay, so that's just kind of an industrial one. And America is going with Embargo Japan. Oh, they might go Pearl Harbor Gambit soon and start the war early. Um, wait, Pearl Harbor Gambit? Does that mean... Ooh. Oh, so it gets it gets gives Japan the ability 
to attack Pearl Harbor. Look, I know the conspiracy theorists, I, I tend to say they're crazy, but they might have something to say here. But um, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and uh, hope to see you next time as we continue to try to make the Panzerland great again. Later, y'all.